I would also like to thank all of the representatives from the Elk Grove Unified School District, including Dr. Ladd, Dave Nevis, my principal, and Bill Ward, my former vice principal. You both have been an incredible support for me, and this is quite an honor. I began teaching 17 years ago at the age of 22. I set out with the high hopes of becoming a kindergarten teacher, and of course I was offered a job teaching sixth grade. <laughs> well, I fell in love with those sixth graders, even their gossip, sarcasm, and magnified emotions. I entered this profession with such a determination to change lives. I worked long hours, tirelessly constructing lesson plans, correcting papers, even homework, and continuing my learning. It didn't take me long to realize that one of the biggest pieces of this puzzle didn't involve anything that needed to be planned or completed after school. Building relationships with my students, getting to know my students beyond academics, discovering what was special and unique about each child and honoring and celebrating those gifts. I learned that when you do this, you build a confidence in a child that can lead to amazing things. It also didn't take me long to realize that this relationship goes both ways. My students have taught me so much about who I am and who I want to be. They have taught me about determination, about not giving up on one another or yourself, about how to forgive, about how to be a good friend, and how to apologize when you haven't been. They've taught me that hard work does pay off and that you can have a fresh start every single day. They've also taught me that it's not only okay, but quite necessary to just be silly sometimes. So for all that I have taught my students, they have given me so much more. I would like to thank my family. First of all, my mom, who raised me on her own and taught me to be strong and confident, and most importantly, to have compassion for others. My beautiful daughter, Paige, and stepdaughter, Adriana, whose love gave me a renewed perspective on teaching. My love for them reminds me every day that each of my students is someone's baby. And my husband, who is such an amazing teacher, his ability to connect with his students is such an inspiration to me and to the rest of my family for always loving and supporting me. On a final note, despite the challenges, controversial issues regarding education and budgetary restraints we've all been faced with, I know one thing for sure. The people in this room tonight and many others across this wonderful state of California will always love our profession and we will stand behind what is most important our kids. Thank you.